Hey, I'm John Griffiths with Gallica, the Society of LGBTQ Entertainment Critics. We are a group of underrepresented critics and entertainment journalists. This is a very loosey-goosey, freewheeling, fun, Hasty Puddings-esque Dorian Awards winner's toast, honoring our winners and even nominees for the best in movie and TV across the board of 2019. Not just gay stuff, quote unquote, but everything. A lot more, and I, uh, I, it was during, a, I was in a production of The Importance of Being Earnest, and I said, this, this writer means so much to me, and has become so much a part of why I'm doing this, and what I believe in, and my Irish heritage, and so I took the name Wild in honor of Oscar Wilde, and now the best part of that is that occasionally his incredible quotes are uh, given to me, misquoted as my own. And I love seeing like teenagers on Twitter giving me some of the greatest Oscar Wilde. <laughs> yeah, sure, I might, I might have also said right, it. Yeah. <laughs> so now tell me about uh, why you decided to make Book Smart and why you decided to, I know that you're, you're, you're continuing to act, I would imagine, mm -hmm. but uh, why directing and mm -hmm. uh, is it, do you enjoy it more than acting? I love di directing. Is the best job in the world. It's like a secret they keep from women that there's this job. <laughs> that's the best yeah. job. Um, but I figured it out. So jokes on them. I won't ever stop. Um, I, I Booksmart was the perfect first film because it is a love letter to all the movies that made me want to make movies. Mm -hmm. You know, I grew up on John Hughes and Cameron Crow and Amy Heckerling, and this is. The, the spirit that made me want to tell stories. It was so inspiring in terms of telling stories of young people who we often don't take seriously. And the struggles of adolescence are just as um, real as the struggles of adulthood. But so often there's this sort of patronizing tone when we tell stories of young people. I really take a lot of pride in being a part of the movement to tell stories that humanize all of us. And uh, so I just want to say this actually means a lot to me. I'm very happy to be here. Thank You're going to you. make me cry. I just. How do we feel on this journey? Ooh, amazing. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I want to devote this award to our team because it's so diverse and they gave each other the space to, to say their ideas and to experiment together. And this is the key. We must work with diverse teams to create something unique. That's the only way. All right, so without further ado, I would like to give a toast to the team of Honeyland. Thank right. you guys for your amazing work on this this character of Matt is, is based on someone that he knew, and the, the scenario uh, between him and Carrie was something that he experienced, of having a, uh, a straight roommate who he would occasionally hook up with. 
he seems sort of oblivious to the emotional part, like everyone who's hooked up with their straight friend. Anybody out there? <laughs> and you're all in love with them, and the next day you're like, are we gonna do brunch? And what do you mean you're going out with your girlfriend? But your character really seems to care about him and sort of, a, you know, I don't know if it's superficial, but he cares about him. He doesn't really know what he's doing. Uh, no, no, he, d he does not. Um, I think he's just having a little bit of fun. And, um, and doesn't realize how, how serious it is to, to carry um, and how much he does care about him. Um, so in that way, yes, Matt is kind of a dickhead. <laughs> <laughs>